Coucou my peeps, hello my loves, marhaba habibete. So, um, the, I, yeah, we got some more lights. I got, I got some curtains for these windows because there's too much sunshine coming in this way. Um, and I got myself a mic. So there's like a lot of new stuff happening and I'm hoping that, I mean, on the viewfinder it looks okay. So I'm hoping that um, the sound and the picture quality is better and it's starting to feel a little bit more like home. So I feel slightly less awkward, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, let's just get into some weekly favorites. Um, yeah, let's do it. Oh great, my camera's flashing a little battery. I'm gonna film <laughs> as long as I can and then when this dies, we'll take a little break. A lot of these things are on my face today. So again, let's just get into it. Um, the first is the Becca Backlit Priming Filter. Can you guys see? the dent I've already made in this. I love the glow that it gives. I love the like citrus, the fresh citrus smell that it has. It just makes the whole sensorial experience of using it so much more pleasant. So this is definitely my first uh, favorite. In terms of skincare, um, I had one. So it's the Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. Uh, I, guess I told you guys my skin has been feeling dull, has been breaking out, has just been not happy. I think it's just the stress of everything and then the dust of, you know, moving and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I actually, this is actually a brand new tub because I already finished a whole tub of this um, already. I've, one time I think, I've gone through a mud mask before, but something that's a bit more a treatment that I will use only maybe once or twice a week, um, I've yet to finish completely. I mean, to be fair, a mud mask you'd only really use once or twice a week. Anyways, um, so yeah, I did finish through. This is my new tub. I love it. Again, it has that citrus smell. I don't know what it is about me and things like, oh, skincare or, or makeup on my face. I love the smell of citrus. It's like invigorating. Um, but it also has that effect of exfoliating, but gently and brightening and just making my skin feel more happy <laughs> than it is really. So this is, has been um, a great this week. I've used it twice. Um, I'm one of those rebels, <laughs> rebels that uses my uh, masks in the shower. I know that some skincare experts dissuade you from doing that because they they say that if the water is too hot, you're actually going to do more damage to your face. Um, so I just make sure to turn the water heat down a little bit and then wash it off. I just find it so much easier to clean it off in the shower than it is when I'm doing it otherwise. So anyways, <laughs> that is that. Um, this is not on my face today, but I have been loving it. It's the Sephora and Pantone Universe Face Palette. And the, the thing I've been loving most is the... Um, highlight in Spanish Villa. It's called, it's this guy right here. It's in this palette and it's also in the um, Vi Violet Orchid uh, collection. They brought it out in both, but it's just such a beautiful, beautiful, shimmery and intense highlight. And I always kind of forget about the highlight in here. Um, I think about more of the blushes, but the highlight is really beautiful. So that has been that. On my cheeks is a blush combo that I actually didn't wear that often, didn't think I would like that often. For me, corals are a color that I pick almost last in blush. I don't know why. Do you guys have colors like that? Like I have a super hard time passing up um, on like a peach blush. Um, I even love red blushes, pink sometimes, but coral I always tend to like not use enough. So in an attempt to kind of work through my collection, I was like, what do I have that's coral that I could pull out? So I pulled out this combo and I love it. And unfortunately, they're both limited edition <laughs> products, but um, I do like mentioning them to you guys anyways, because I feel that, you know, there's ways to get them. Some of you already have them. So it's these two. It's the Wonder Woman blush in Mighty Aphrodite and the Powder Blush from the Simpsons Collection in Sideshow You. Like I said, it is what I have on my cheeks today. So this guy gives like a really beautiful just coral pop a color to the um, to the cheek and it's really lovely let's watch right there and it, it, it just it warms everything up but this guy i kind of had always thought that i would keep it around for you know the collector value of it and it, it never really showed up on its own as a blush but when i top the two together and you can see it on my cheeks so much better than you can see it in the hand swatch it just gives this like a live look to the cheeks i don't know i just i really really love it so that is that. And then in terms of eyes, all week long, I've been reaching for my Naked 3 palette. It's also the colors on my eyes today. Um, I have Trick, which is this guy, all over the lid, and then Nooner in the crease, and then Factory and Dark Side um, to darken up the crease. I just, I've, I've really been enjoying it. I know a lot of people like this one the least out of all of them because they think it's less versatile, but I've really, really, really been enjoying it and enjoying wearing it. And the last uh, thing is the um, NARS, it's, is it? Oh, it's called an eye paint. I use it as a liner. It's in Balbek, B-A-L-B-E-C, B-E-K. Uh, I've used it as a liner today. It's kind of this cocky black, not black, this cocky golden color. 
It's really, really beautiful. Um, I've been, again, all about kind of toned down eyeshadows this week. Um, so I don't usually wear lipstick during Ramadan. Um, in large part because my <laughs> lips are so chapped and dry, as you guys can probably see, because I'm not drinking water throughout the day. And then in second part um, is because... There are some that say, so you know how Bite Beauty lipsticks make their lipsticks so that they're edible because on average uh, we consume <laughs> like a tube of lipstick in our lifetime. So there are some out there that say that like if you were to consume the, the lipstick, like if you were to kind of chew on your lips or get some lipstick and you kind of swallow it, it would cost as breaking your fast. And as much as I love lipstick, I get, I work so hard to fast all day that I don't want my day like not to count on a technicality. So I usually skip out on lipsticks throughout the month of Ramadan. So I'm telling you that to tell you that's why there's no um, lipsticks in this video. But also, it's kind of been the reason that I've toned down the eye looks a little bit because it's hard to pull off like a really beautiful, colorful eye and then a nude lip. If you're going kind of softer with your makeup, not having lipstick on doesn't look as, you know, disjointed. So yeah, <laughs> there's that. And then a last favorite I wanted to show you guys was some jewelry. So you guys have probably noticed the ring that I'm wearing right here it has the um the evil eye and then it's got the chain there uh this is from a collection that uh one of my friends started so do you guys remember the lebanese makeup i used to talk about her all the time we did a collab um i'm scared when drop things uh during last halloween on rocky horror with the rocky horror collection so she has started a really beautiful jewelry line and um she sent me a couple pieces to try out she's like do you mind i'm like are you kidding <laughs> everything you do is so beautiful i'm sure it'll be great and i was totally totally not disappointed so it's called the winter wind collection um that is the card right there um and then i will show you the back so you could totally uh, check her out come on can totally check her out uh, on Instagram or if you wanted to send an email, there's that. So she makes all the jewelry herself. The um, chains are sourced here in Canada. She gets all of this, the stones or the beads or whatever in, you know, whatever she's putting on it in Turkey. Um, the They're just such beautiful pieces. You can shower in them, um, get water, like swim in them, get water on them. And I am a testament to that. I have not taken this off all week and I've showered it in whatever. For me, I'm not a huge jewelry wearer. And so if you're, if I have something that I'm going to wear, it's going to be something that I can just kind of sleep in, shower in, whatever, and it's good to go. So I've been doing that all week with this guy and it's great. She sent two of these because she wasn't sure where my size was. Um, and I've given one to my mom and she loves it and she hasn't taken hers off either. So they come in just the normal standard sizes. I think she told me that if you wanted like a custom size, it's just a dollar extra. Um, and any questions you have, please send them her way. This is kind of like the pre-launch. So um, there's a bunch of discounts already on the prices and then and for us, if you're watching from this video going over there, she left a discount code, which is Sarah15, S-A-R-A-H-1-5. I'll leave that down in the description box too for an extra 15% off. So um, they are really beautiful pieces. And sure, they were sent to me, but I was totally willing to pay her for them because I, A, want to support. I think it's awesome to support other people that you know that are good people that are doing awesome things and it was kind of I knew that it would be great but it was an added bonus to see how, really how great they were so she sent me a couple other pieces that I wanted to show you they all come in these really cute little bags which make it easier for storage and like they come and you feel like it's a little gift so like I said two of these and then um she sent me these guys which I was like wait did she forget to put the bead in them but they're actually really neat if I can get them out of the bag because I'm kind of incompetent sometimes with things like this um so they're all kind of this loose chain um material and then these ones just sit there's two of them they sit on the finger like so I wasn't sure that I would like the loose um but I think it's really lovely because they're just more comfy to wear so those ones kind of sit like that I don't know, it's neat. It's like a neat little way to layer the rings. Um, and then the other one is this guy right here, which has a little flower on it. Um, also really cute. I think she was telling me the other day that she's gonna start making bracelets too. So there may be some bracelets uh, on the website by the time you guys go up and look. Um, I feel like I would be horrible on like QVC. I cannot get it together. Anyways, <laughs> this one's in gold. It's got a little flower on it. It's just super cute. Anyways, so um, yeah, those are, that's that. Uh, I did definitely want to give a little shout out. Um, 
and I've been loving I've just, it, they're just so cute and so little pretty and dainty and I'm so 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 proud of her so if you're watching sweetie congrats on this great project you it's a really awesome product like I said I love them um, my mom has been loving them my aunt has kind of threatened to steal some from me so um, I'm not giving her this one though this one's my favorite I might give her like the little um, flower or what have you anyways <laughs> let me know what you guys have been loving this week let's do some quick points of positivity and i will be done so my first point of positivity is the bieber concert okay i told you guys i was scared i was turning into a believer i don't think i'm quite there but it was a fun show i really anywhere where there's good energy and people are excited and happy and the music was catchy um so i really really enjoyed that my second has been a good week of spin classes yes i am fasting and working out i have found that if i just don't my body's just been so used to having the blood pumping and moving that it's nice to still go I kind of take it a little bit easier that's the nice thing about spin you can take the the suspension down on the bike or the tension down on the bike um, but it's been you know a couple workouts this week that have just left me really like invigorated and happy and full of energy so it's been great and then my third is a good week of Ramadan um, I hate kind of a, a, a rough spot last weekend I think with everything that happened in the world um, and then also my body was just getting tired I was losing kind of the spark and the magic and the good energy behind it so I was re able to refocus kind of reset my intention and it was a really positive beautiful week um, of Ramadan this week so as always please let me know it's making you guys smile thank you for hanging out I will talk to you soon but before I leave you as always let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick you guys know that it's about more than just lipstick when I say that right okay cool love you guys talk to you soon <laughs> bye guys